Nearly all bacteria are surrounded by a mesh bag of peptidoglycan, the sacculus. The sacculus is tough because of its structure, a series of sugars connected by covalent bonds, and every other sugar has a side chain of oligopeptide, a short chain of amino acids, and those amino acids are connected at at least one point by a covalent bond between pairs. So this whole structure is one large macromolecule connected by covalent bonds, making it tough. Why do bacteria need a peptidoglycan coat? Their problem is that they have a high solute concentration, amino acids, proteins, many other molecules, and they often live in environments that have lower solute concentrations. That means this abundant water with few solutes has a tendency to enter the cell attracted to those solutes, and it puts pressure on the plasma membrane, the cell membrane. That membrane is weak. Think of a soap bubble. So it would easily burst and allow out the contents of the cell. The solution is a peptidoglycan coat. This mesh around the outside that's about the same thickness as the membrane so that when osmotic pressure pushes on the membrane, it winds up contacting the peptidoglycan and holding the bacteria intact. Here's a sketch showing the structure of peptidoglycan. The basic subunit is a pair of sugars, they're slightly different, I'll color one a bit black, with a chain of four or five amino acids, depending on the species in the peptidoglycan. Those chains are connected covalently to a neighboring sugar strand, and these subunits repeat so that each of the different strands of sugars winds up covalently bound to a neighbor, and each strand will have multiple connections to the same neighboring strand. So you can see that you build up a mesh of all of these sugars and amino acids. The pore size here is very important to bacteria. They need to be able to get wastes and secreted proteins out. They need to be able to get nutrients such as glucose, amino acids, and things in. This pore size is about two nanometers, which allows out essentially all wastes. Small proteins, small secreted proteins would fit, and allows in glucose amino acids, and of course small proteins could also get in. At places where bacteria need to secrete larger proteins, they create bigger gaps in the peptidoglycan coat. Put this together and we have a tough mesh bag surrounding the bacterium that prevents it from bursting under osmotic pressure and has some control over the sizes of the molecules that get through, adjusted to make the pore sizes bigger or smaller, adjusting the number of connections between the amino acid chains to make the mesh bag more or less flexible and with different size pores.